Hello everyone, hope you have done your exercise 6.1 and 2. I got one problem from exercise 6.2 from NCRT. That is the sixth problem is there. The question number 6 is there. Here is uh, PQ. This is PQ and RSR, two meters placed parallel to each other. An incident ray AB is tracked at point B of meter PQ and reflected ray moves along the path BC strike the meter rs at point c and again reflect it back along cd then prove that ab is parallel to this ab is parallel to cd so i've drawn the figure here it is given pq is parallel to rs to prove ab is parallel to cd so one construction we have to do here that pe is perpendicular on rs and cf is perpendicular on pq now these are these two perpendiculars are in between the parallel lines so they will also parallel be is parallel to cf because perpendiculars of parallel lines are also parallel now the laws of reflection you know that that ab is an incident ray and bc is a reflected ray here this is a normal this angle x is known as angle of incidence this is known as angle of reflection similarly when bc is tracked to mirror rs then it becomes incident ray and this becomes reflected ray so this angle a angle of incidence b angle of reflection so here is what angle x is equals to y and a is equals to b because angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection now these two lines are parallel b e is parallel to cf so here y is equals to a because alternate interior angles now we multiply both sides by 2 twice of angle y twice of angle a so y we will write two times y plus y a plus a so one by we will replace with the help of equation one we will replace one by with x so x plus y and other side angle a plus angle b one a we will replace by b with the help of equation two so angle x plus y is equal to angle a plus angle b here is from the question figure we can see that x plus y whole angle is a b c a plus b whole angle is b c d so we can write here angle a b c is equals to angle b c d so you can see here this is a z figure means alternate interior angles are equal so alternate interior angles are only equal if they lie between the parallel lines so a b is parallel to c d because a b c is and b c d both are alternate interior angles now we have to move towards exercise 6.3 before that we have to go through with some definitions and theorem so first of all we have to see what is a median this is a triangle abc so the line joining the midpoint of one side of a triangle with the opposite vertex is known as median so in a triangle there are three median because three sides three vertex three vertices so three medians are there so here ad BE and CF are three medians. Now the important thing is there where all the median intersect each other that point is known as the centroid of the triangle. Second term is altitude. The length of perpendicular the length of perpendicular here is perpendicular drawn from any vertex of a triangle on opposite side is called altitude. Here AD is the altitude on BC, so this is the altitude and BE is also, here is the perpendicular and this is also the perpendicular. So here are three, in obtuse triangle, maybe there are the altitudes are outside the triangle, but they always remain three in number. So the length of perpendicular drawn from any vertex to a triangle on opposite side is called altitude. And where all the altitudes intersect each other, that point is known as the orthocenter. Now the theorem. You all know, all are familiar with this theorem in your previous classes. The sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So this theorem is there given. A triangle ABC we have a proof of this theorem a triangle ABC this is a triangle here ABC so angle 1 angle 2 and angle 3 now what we have to prove the sum of the interior angles of the triangle is 180 angle 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equals to 180 degree 
now we have to do the construction what construction we have to do we have to draw a line d e parallel to b c passing through a so through a draw a line draw d e parallel to b c so these two sides are parallel to each other these two are parallel to each other now the proof what we have since d e is parallel to b c so we are having here two pair of alternating angles angle 4 is equals to angle 2 similarly this angle 5 is equals to angle 3 so angle 4 is equals to angle 2 angle 5 is equals to angle 3 these are the alternate interior angles now we can see 4 plus 1 plus 5 these three angles are on the straight line so their sum will be 180 degree angle 4 plus 1 5 is equals to 180 since DA is a straight line now with the help of equation 1 and 2 we can replace angle 4 by 2 1 as it is and angle 5 can be replaced by angle 3 that is their three angles is equals to 180 degree so using equation 1 and 2 or we can write them in order that we have to prove so angle 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equals to 180 degree this is the proof of that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree now the second theorem is there though we have the statement only in the NCRT but we will prove here for your to enhance your knowledge theorem 2 is what if a side of a triangle is produced this is a triangle we are taking here if the side of a triangle is produced then the exterior angle so formed is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angle this is statement you have to learn because we can use this directly in the questions so in if a side of a triangle is produced then the exterior angle so formed is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles how can we prove this though the proof is not there in NCRT but we will show this a triangle ABC this is a triangle ABC side AB produced to D forming an exterior angle number 4 this side is forming so this angle 4 is at the exterior of triangle ABC what we found to prove that the sum the exterior angle so formed is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angle angle 1 plus 2 is equals to angle 4 now how can we prove this so we will let here angle 1 2 3 and outside is 4 so here is 1 plus 2 plus 3 the previous theorem we will use here angle 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 180 angle sum property we know the previous theorem as the angle sum property of triangle this is 180 first equation now 3 plus 4 is also 180 because these are the linear pair 1 and 2 equation right sides are equal hence the left side will also be equal from first and second angle 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equals to angle 3 plus 4 so 3 can be cancelled out so angle 1 plus 2 angle 1 plus angle 2 is equals to angle 4 so this we want to prove hence prove now on the basis of this theorem we have one question from the NCRT exercise 6.3 this is the question here given the side QR Reduce to S. If the bisector of angle PQR, this is PQR, and PRS meet at point T, then we have to prove that QTR is equals angle Q is half of angle QPR. The figure is here I have drawn, and uh, what we want to prove this QT is the bisector of angle Q and RT is a bisector of angle PRS this is given to us what we want to prove QTR QTR is given QTR this is equal to half of angle QPR now the proof is there it is given in triangle PQR QR is produced to S and RT this is RT RT is the bisector of angle PRS okay so we will what first we will let here that angle this is angle 1 
this one is angle 2 and these two are equal because this is a bisector. The whole angle I have marked here angle 3. This small angle is 4 and these two angles are equal because RT is a bisector and this whole angle is angle 5 and this one is angle 6. So we can write here angle 4 is half of angle 5 because this is the, these are the two parts of the same angle. So angle 4 is equals to half of angle 5. Angle 4 as it is half of angle 5. This angle 5 whole angle 5 is the exterior angle of triangle PQR. So angle 5 is equal to angle 1 plus whole angle 3. So angle 5 is angle 1 plus angle 3. Exterior angle property of triangle PQR we have used here. Now in triangle QTR again we will use the same property. This time angle 4 because this is the triangle we are using here. This triangle this angle 4 is the exterior angle and 4 is equals to angle 6 plus angle 2 exterior angle property of triangle QTR. This is the exterior angle property of triangle QTR. Now angle 4 as it is angle 6 plus. So this is angle 2. This is angle 2. So this angle 2 is half of angle 3. So we can write this half of angle 3 because QT is the bisector of angle PQR. Now we can see from first and second equation left side are equal so the right side will also be equal. So half of angle 1 plus 3 is equal to angle 6 plus half of angle 3. So multiply the inside by 2. So, um, we will multiply inside by 1 upon 2. So angle 1 upon 2 plus angle 3 upon 2 is equal to angle 6 plus root angle 3 upon 2. This angle 3 upon 2, angle 3 upon 2 can be cut. So what we have here angle 6 is equals to half of angle 1 or angle 6 we can write from here QTR this is QTR and angle 1 we can write here QPR. So this is half of angle QPR. So this is the proof of the equation. This is the proof of the question. Now girls I have two problems from the girls. So I am going to discuss it here. First problem is there. It is given here that this is a triangle ABC in which AE it is produced to D. I don't know the problem exactly. I got this figure and this is the given here. AE bisects angle CAD and angle B is equals to angle C. This is given to us. Angle B is equals to angle C. And this angle is equals to this one. And we have to prove that A is parallel to BC. So what is the proof here? Angle DAE is equals to angle EAC. Or we can write here CAD. CAD is equals to the CAD angle is the sum of these two angles. DAE plus EAC. So EA. DAE can also be write as EAC and EAC will remain as it is. So angle CAD we can write twice of angle EAC. Now angle B plus C is equals to angle CAD. This is the exterior angle property of this triangle. So B can be replaced as C because these are equal. So angle C plus angle C, CAD we can write as from first equation angle EAC, these two can be cut angle C, this angle C is equals to angle EAC. So this there is a Z figure. It means the alternate interior angles are equal. So what does it mean? That they lie between the parallel lines. So AE is parallel to BC. So angle C is equals to EAC or we can write angle ACB is equals to angle EAC. These are the alternate